Scissors are the item most commonly referred to as difficult to use by left-handers of all ages and they're a perfect example of a totally right-handed design which becomes extremely inefficient and uncomfortable when used in the left hand. But why all the fuss? Why don't left-handers just use their right hand for cutting out? The reason is that cutting, like writing, is a fine motor skill and most left-handers do not have the necessary control in their right hand. Using right-handed scissors in your left hand is not the answer either, as they just do not cut properly. Using them in the wrong hand forces the blades apart rather than together, so we squeeze them more tightly, leading to a sore thumb knuckle and an aching hand. You can see from this pair of right-handed scissors that the right blade is always on top, and the blades are set so that the action of squeezing with the right hand pushes the blades together, giving a good clean cut. But when we put the same right-handed scissors in the left hand, you will immediately see that the top blade now obscures the cutting line, so you cannot see what you're cutting. To overcome this problem, left-handers have to angle the scissors to peer over the top of the blades, or cut shapes backwards, starting at the front of a circle and cutting anti-clockwise around it. And you can see how awkward it looks. Very quickly, another problem becomes apparent. Using a right-handed scissor in the left hand means you're pushing the blades apart rather than together, so the paper bends and tears rather than cutting smoothly. To try and make the scissors work, left-handers have to push the thumb and index finger together in an unnatural way to make the scissors cut, causing marks on the hand and eventually calluses.